Hey everyone and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. On the last stream, we made our way over to Jeddah. We reunited with Marin and Seer. We learned about them rebuilding the Jedi Archive. And we need to either go back to Kobo to... What am I supposed to do on Kobo again? I forget. Or I supposed to go to Kobo or the moon. I think it was to learn more about Dagon Gera, if I remember correctly. Um, so just like trying to figure out what he's up to, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. And that's pretty much where we left off. We also uh, left off, we got the, uh, the blaster stance, which uses a um, one-handed lightsaber with a gun. So I've got that equipped right now. We're gonna play around with that a little bit. I, I suspect I'm not gonna like it much, but we'll, we'll give it a go. See how it is. And uh, I would like to explore Jeddah a little bit before I take off for Kobo or its moon. Uh, but I may have seen everything there is to see currently. Let's find out. I think I got two exits unlocked. One was up there, but it like overlooked the desert area. And the other was over this way. That force essence you missed last night, you can grab it. There was a broken wall and the staircase you were in. Huh. Interesting. Wait, am I going the right way? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. I can't remember. Did this unlock over here? Or is this one... This is still locked, I think. Don't think I can call the lift from here. Yeah, so my only option to exit, I believe, is this way, unless I'm forgetting another exit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's where I died. <laughs> I forgot about that. That was embarrassing. Embarrassing for Cal. I I don't see how I actually died. Like, look, he couldn't have gotten crushed or anything. Like, why did he die? Like, oh no, I'm on top of an elevator. Dead. Heart attack. kind of funny we had our farewell and then she's like all right let's go explore uh hmm well i suppose that force essence is really all we can do huh looks like it maybe it was here it, this map is so not helpful maybe like there all right let's go to there and we'll f try to figure it out Oh, it's one of those. Get him, Marin! Oh, hi! Oh, God! Get him, Marin! That tower is straight up broken. <laughs> like, look at this. I just get to... Oh, that's right. I was honestly that that attack was very quick. <laughs> Interesting. In some ways, it kind of felt better than my regular one, but hard to tell because Marin used her brokenness.
Uh, did I ever play Doom 2016? I Let's did stop not. Here. The map was similar. Well, I think they copied the wrong game. Uh, I would like to fast travel. And I suppose I would like to fast travel maybe here? Oh, wait, no, that's way too far. That's... Wait. Ugh, I hate this map. Maybe that was it? No, that's not it. Where's the other spot? Hey, what the heck? We got a, a room? Oh, I can't get over there, can I? No, I can't. Uh, hold on, let me look at the map again. Uh, it is way over there. Okay. I was thinking we had traveled further than that, but I guess not. Okay, so I think I actually do want this one. Right. Oh no, th this one. This is the one I want. Actually, I take that back. The map is much more unreadable in this game. There you go. I was gonna say, like, I'd be surprised. It's really annoying the way um, they like will often get hit, but then um, they just like walk through your saber and hit you. Like that's super lame in my opinion. Really don't like that. can force pull those shields off of them. That's what it says, but I, every time I've tried, it doesn't work. So, I don't know. That's what it claims. But I don't believe it. Hmm. The gun one shot? I mean, I don't like the blaster much, but I do like the quick jabs he's doing, almost like he's holding a rapier. I do really like that. But I don't like the blaster so far. Alright, I'm looking for whatever you were talking about. Huh. What's your best stance so far? I still like the single blade, um, but the they made the the uh, the double bladed one uh, much better in this game. <laughs> A Jedi with a blaster, Han approves. I, huh. I'm still not seeing it.
Maybe up there? Oh, uh, maybe. Hold on, what's up here? Ah, oh, well, this is something completely different. So we missed this too. The undercut. Eh, not for me. No. Nope. Not doing it. Alright, and then we had the one up top, but we already got whatever was up there, I believe. Or did we? There must have been something up here. Probably a scroll. down there is it that'd be evil I don't think so <laughs> hey Raven welcome glad you can make it sorry to hear about your insomnia though that's a bummer oh by the way um patreon poll ends in a day and a half the uh the two games uh duking it out really are unchanged. Witcher 3 and Elden Ring are going at it. Spider-Man's a little bit behind, sitting back in third place. Uh, but just a day and a half left if any of you wanted to vote. Not a whole lot of time left. Uh, last I checked, Elden Ring is 31% and Witcher's 38%? Something to vote with that. Yeah, I've been down there, Xander. That's not new. This isn't new. I went to the bottom here. Maybe I just missed it. I don't know. But I went to the bottom and there was nothing. Alright, I really like that move. <laughs> I finally have a move I really like with this. That little dive bomb thing is super cool. Alright, so supposedly... Oh, hi. Supposedly there's something in here. Broken wall and this staircase. Uh, you say so? Oh, right there. I see it now. Ah, dang it. I went down here and everything. Oh well. My finishing Horizon? Of course! I finish every game I start, it just may not be anytime soon, because uh, honestly I can't stand it. Alright, well I may as well continue, because um, I'm close to that shortcut thing anyway. Uh, which way do I go again? Alright, I go back this way. Actually, did we ever open? Oh, never mind. There was like a shortcut. I don't think we ever opened. But it doesn't matter. How come I can't stand it? Because I think it's really bad. <laughs> I, I could give you all the reasons why, but... I'd rather not talk Horizon on this particular stream. This is a Star Wars stream. But yeah, I think it's a terrible game. Is that where I was at? Oh yeah, I guess it is. Alright, I think we got everything. 
Those yellows are gone now, so that was the second yellow that we didn't understand. And the only other thing I'm seeing is that rumor, but I don't think we can go out there unless somebody knows a way. Well, actually, there is that. What's that? Undiscovered area. Huh. All right, well, let's see if we can figure what, out what that is, because maybe we can explore a little bit more. There is only the force. Hey, M3. Welcome. All right, let's see. So I want to go there to the archive. All set, BD. Is that that one? No. Up here? It's, it's not right here, right? I wouldn't be silly enough to just miss this, I don't think. Or maybe I would be. I would be silly enough to just miss this. How did I miss this? Maybe it opened up after I talked to them. Looks like we might be stopped anyway. Yeah, this is definitely new. Master Junda told us of your coming. It is an honor to meet one she holds in such high regard. May I escort you? I have never met a witch before, and I have so many questions. Witch. An Inkrite is eager to learn about the Night Sister Marin. Alright, that is blocked off. We can apparently go this way, and I guess this leads out. Well, would you look at this? Let's go. Hi, Marin. All right, we got a whole new area to explore. I almost missed this. This way, Master Junda. We are nearly there. So, what do you think? It's old, abandoned, and in the middle of nowhere. It's perfect. Foundation. Seer and the Anchorites discover what will become their home base in the Archive. The Anchorites express that they will aid Seer as part of their broader belief. How is the desert treating you, BD? He likes it out here. I don't think I can make it up there. Did I use the blaster saber? I'm using it right now. I haven't used it much. Oh, ATST? Wow. I'm not one to shy away from a fight. That's a little rough. Let me hit this meditation spot first. Anchorite base. Let's get it! Oh, no ranged dudes, huh? That's brutal. That's alright, we'll do this. Hi! <laughs> I love that, it's so cool. Oh god! Well, it shocks them too, I guess that's something. Oh, oh what? Dodge that. Alright, fine, get on the uh -oh. oh come on, it like is instantaneous. God, I can't get close. Baron, get him. Oh, that's dumb. Hey buddy. We gotta pay on it! Yes, 
else I can, but I didn't do anything. Oh god, what the literally instant. Then please. I finally killed this stupid thing. Well, yeah. Blast is a little more powerful than I thought. Yeah, something. Am I scanning this guy? This guy. What's that, bud? Imperial officer. The rank of Imperial Officer is ubiquitous throughout the leadership hierarchy of the Imperial military. It exists above other specialized titles such as Supervisor. The level of each officer is displayed by the number and color of pips on their rank badge, which is often, but not always, pinned to the upper left of their standard issue tuning. Well fought, beast. You remind me of home, you know. Were you hungry? Now you will feed the other creatures. The beasts of Jeddah. The deserts of Jeddah are home to many lethal creatures. And Imperials. What's something you learned traveling the galaxy? That sometimes it is best not to ask questions and to keep your eyes on the path ahead. What the? Another one? Screw it. We're well trained now. We're on control. Like we do nearly every single look up there. Ah, oh, God. Oh, my God. What an aim. You will break. Hey, buddy. Get him. Rack him! Easy! <laughs> oh, what's going on over here? Uh, <laughs> it's still alive. Good job. Security droid enforcer. They strike erratically, but most attacks can be blocked, creating openings to strike back after evading them. They can also parry your attacks, be ready to defend yourself when they do. A variant of the KX series security droid, these baton-wielding counterparts were designed primarily to train Imperial stormtroopers in the use of the Electro Baton. Their movements, therefore, are similar to scout troopers, but with a mechanical mastery of the form, which, which combined with a reinforced chassis, make them far more dangerous. Live on, my brother. Live on. Hey, it's Scuba! Scuba Stab! What am I hearing? Oh, it's just Marin. Watch your step, lad! Have we walked in on another dangerous expedition? Well, the feral sneakfish prefers the taste of crab, but would happily settle for your tool. Are you sure all this is worth the risk? There's great beauty in peril, lad. And these noble beasts demand respect, you know, as you'll see. Will you work for Sagarera again? Not sure. I haven't heard from him since Coruscant. 
the snakefish. The snakefish thrives in the oasis of Jeddah's desert, where the frigid waters provide a natural coolant for the serpentine fish. Though the desert is barren, the snakefish requires only the barest amount to survive. The frequent sandstorms that pummel the high desert often deposit nutrient-rich detritus in the pools, which can feed the snakefish for months at a time. So much for a noble beast demanding great respect. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I'll deal with you later. Shall we continue me, uh, sordid tale? So, you wish to hear of a time on the grapple with the crew of the Dread Captain Wanyak Wed? Let's hear it. Aye. My tenure began with quite a bump. The moment the grapple hit orbit, her klaxons began to sing. A barrack ship full of lawful types swam out to the stars and hailed us. What be the meaning of this? growled our captain. Where's the boat fisher folk? Your transponder codes tell a different tale, came the reply. You be standing on stolen property, you do. Ah, you've rightful caught us, said the captain. Come on aboard, and I'll surrender what was stolen. But scarcely had the lubbers set boot on the deck of the grapnel. When wham! The captain's harpoon skewed them like a quailfish on a spit. No, you can't do that when you're running like, can you? Said the captain to me, grinning in his foulsome way. I'm sorry to say that I picked up the harpoon that black day. <laughs> For years, I did not toss a fish back into the sea when I caught her. Well, that is until... Ah, blubbing you to death. I'll continue my tale soon, lad. The grapnel. Scuva spent many years adventuring and hunting rare fish with the crew of the Grapnel and was promoted to first mate. I saw something up here. Yes, I did. You do not belong on Jeddah. Marin's been here. The Desert Ghost. Marin fights against the Imperial encroachment on Jetta. What are these things called again? They're not camels, they're uh Ah, forget. Have you been here before? Yes. I once saved the pilgrim from a stormtrooper not far from here. It's not a shamble, is it? No. That's gonna bother me. I can't remember what it's called. Spamble? I think it's a spamble. You a spamble? Why are there more of you? I took your friends out. Fine. Let's go. Beat him up. Oh god. Oh. That okay. Thanks. I swear the dodge in this game is so garbage. <laughs> it leaves you wide open every time. Like, what is the point? Oh, man. That's weird, though. They're just gone. I don't understand. The dodge in the first game was not this bad. They regressed. I mean, did they do it on purpose? Did they think that this was somehow better? Because it's way worse.
Weird, those two must have walked super far. I wonder what they were doing over here. jacket it's not bad but it doesn't like fit the look i want for cal but i honestly wouldn't mind wearing it but i'm gonna stick with what i got wouldn't mind it but not quite what i want for cal breeze won't say it but he missed you i missed him too but if you tell him that, I will retaliate. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, we got a bunch of troopers. No troopers, what you up to? I will murder all of you. Oh, those are rocket launcher dudes. Nope. Oh wow, Merit. Just blindsided that dude. What are those? Oh god, three of those things? I'm just stupid enough to try. Three, no problem. <laughs> that did nothing. Lock them all down. Oh, here we go. I didn't do anything. Here, buddy. Yeah, I do like how fast that is. It's almost better than the single blade by itself, only just because of its speed. Like, look at this. Like, just quick stats. Not much damage, though. Probably doesn't break guard very well. They break out super fast. What is the point? Oh, I fell for it. I guess I can get a few strikes. Now. Oh, I could have taken one of these over. I, for I keep forgetting about them. That would have helped a lot. Oh, wow. Freaking awesome thing. Yeah, if I had taken one over that, would have been fine. You are Master Junda's friend. My thanks. I would not travel by day if I were you. The Empire's presence has grown. 
Wise counsel. I am in your debt. Debt. The deserts of Jeddah was always dangerous to travelers, but it has grown more deadly with the arrival of Imperial forces. They just look like they're out, like, sun tanning. Sometimes everything out in the desert starts to look the same. You must focus on what is different. That is how you will not get lost. Where am I supposed to get up there? I don't think I can jump that high. Oh, wait, can I do this goofiness? No. About over here, maybe. Nope. What? Why are you back? The heck did he resurrect? Careful, there is danger nearby. Wait, what? How do you have health? I'm so confused. Can they like play dead? I need my... Oh wait, no, this group I killed. Why are they ba All right, screw it. I'm not gonna like kill everything that moves. Especially if they're gonna be re reviving them. I know I just killed that group recently. Maybe that was post-death. Or pre-death, I mean. I don't know. I think this leads into the base. I don't know why it's closed though. If I'm able to go out here. Remember that big door. What is this? Shortcut. Shortcut indeed. To where? Where is this? Oh! Oh, is this the other base entrance? Desert seems like it yes, goes it on is. forever. Yes, it continues to surprise me. All right. Well, that's connected. I'm sure there was going to be something big in here. Hello, spammers. Mm. Well, definitely not as populated as uh, Kobo was. That's for sure. Turn around, go back to the left over here. What are you talking about? There's nothing back here. Unless you're telling me to go where I was already gonna go. I passed it? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I was already gonna go over here. <laughs> I was clearly You're going this way. Coming. This you should do on your own. All right, I'll do it on my own. Gold. Oh, this guy. All right.
Get in there, Cal. I hate that he doesn't step forward. This step in! Oh my god. Oh my god. Cal! How are you this useless? I just need to step in just slightly. There. Nope, still can't do it. Oh my god. <sighs> Fine. Dual blade. Oh, he got in there. He got his butt kicked. Help me, D. Help me, D. You know what we'll do? Let's do this. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought my bar was ready. So dumb, I could easily hit him if Cal wasn't so immobile. There we go, get right up next to him. That was easy. The Golden Scryton. Jeddah's harsh climate forces its residents to either adapt or die. The Golden Scryton has taken this to extremes. Greater still than the already fearsome Scryton, this apex predator strikes harder, moves faster, and lasts longer than almost any other beast on the planet, earning it a fearsome reputation. Meh. I, I still am slightly annoyed that Cal is faster at striking with a gun in one hand than he is just solely focused on a single blade. That annoys me. Unflinching, a new perk. Oh, I gotta look at my new perks. I keep forgetting. I might have some good ones I'm not using. How did it go? It's done. You could have helped. delicious you wanted to eat it reaper you can have it I left the corpse back there the path of restoration hmm. okay I can clearly climb up there what's in here nothing okay I guess we're climbing hi you seriously not see me <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hello. Calcast is here. Enemy of the Empire. Right here. One of the last remaining Jedi. Okay. Well, maybe I can make that jump. Mm, I don't know. Let's try it, though. Nope. Can't quite do that. All right.
Maybe I can make this jump? That seems too far. Huh. Maybe there's another way up. Maybe. Well, it seems odd that they'd have me climb up here if there was no way. Must be in something. Or not? Weird. I see a wall. Well, maybe. Hold on. There's a cave there. Maybe I can find a way up over here. I still feel like it wants me to jump this. I can't possibly make like that. Most of the desert stuff is later in the story. Oh, I can check my map. Oh, it's it's blocked. Maybe I get a better jump in the future. Thanks for the heads up. I would have messed with that for a little bit longer. You saved me some time. Desert Ridge. not missing he's pretending not to see I mean to be fair that's a smart move what what Jedi I didn't see a Jedi I'd play dumb too we got the serenity switch Looks like another shortcut, but to where? Over there? Shortcut unlocked. What is that to? Oh, that's... I see. Connects those two. Alright. Oh, looks like we got a meditation spot. Oh, wait, that's the other side. Oh, whatever. Hey, Spam, well, I need a quick ride. Comfortable back there? It is acceptable. Every time I travel this desert, I see something new. That's incredible. It'd take years to see it all. Thank you for the rides, Bamble. Easy does it. No one legs. I'm gonna have to look at B these customizations here soon. We got the Desert Ridge Meditation Point. Uh, let me do some training. I got some skill points. Oh, wait, not training. What am I talking about? Skills, not training. Uh, lightsaber. So let's see, with the blaster stance, efficient heat transfer, oh wait. Flying lunge, hold square to close the distance to your enemy with a leaping thrust. We'll give it a shot. Could be good. Blaster cooldown, gain additional ammunition each time you strike an enemy with a lightsaber. That seems like a good thing to have. Improved clip, increase maximum blaster ammunition by three. Hmm. Efficient heat transfer, let's get this as well. Right, I'll hold on to my other two skill points. Let's move. All right. Oh, BD just found something. Oh, BD? Find something or no? Maybe he's just hopping back up from the meditation. Mm -hmm. 
Well, this could be useful. I could throw the exploded dudes at the ATST. Let's see how this goes. Hi! Enemies up ahead. Hello. Greetings. <laughs> oh god! They can charge up? Uh, oh my god awful dodge. Quick help! Dang it! Ah, really? Oh my god! Do I still want dual blade? The problem is dual blade is so much better at reflecting blaster bolts than anything else that I kind of like. Am, I feel like I'm pigeonholed into it. So basically, it's like, what do you want with your dual blade? I really do feel like they just completely trash the dodge in this game, though. I hate using it. I get hit so often using the dodge. It leaves you completely vulnerable at the end of it. Arid flats. Nope. All right, so we got more of those. Still can't access that. Some troopers over here. What's up, troopers? Jumping a viable dodge, speaking from Elden Ring experience. It is on um, some of the bosses. It may be against these blaster bolts too. I honestly haven't really tried. So maybe? It certainly was the better option against the, the toad boss. Like trying to dodge his tongue grab was pointless. Like it worked for me like a quarter of the time at most. So it, it might be it might be worth trying to jump dodge the blaster shots. It's not always going to be an option, but it could work. Force Unleashed, all you had to do was hold guard and the blaster shots would auto deflect. Yeah, that, I'm glad that they don't have that. Like, the actual like timing of the, the deflex feels really, really good. The deflect is perfectly fine. The deflect feels great. And it did in the first game, too. But the dodge felt way better in the first game, and now it's terrible. So, I don't... I'd have to, like, pick up the first game again and play it some more to tell you exactly why I just know it's different and I don't like it. Ready yourself for combat. Can't like give up. Better explanation. It's over. But that won't be the last of them. 
That jump spin, though, is so much fun. I love that move. What? Oh, these are the armored ones I heard about. I can pull their shells off, apparently. I might just want to watch them. Take you over. I'm your ally. Yes, I can. What the heck? Did he explode? That does so little damage. I think that dude exploded when I killed him, so I gotta be careful with that. Hello. Together. Crap. There you go. Oh, that's what happens. They get all shiny like that. Okay. There it goes. Waste my force on just this dude. Yeah, okay. I need a stem. I guess you kinda yeah. have to then. Back to normal. I guess I could push them off the ledge. Alright, I actually I could have Marin lock it down and maybe. So how'd you get involved with a hidden path? I came across someone in need during my travels and helped them hide from the Empire. That eventually led me to the path. Oh. Do that. Sometimes I wonder if destroying the holocron had any impact. We protected the children on that list. But there are others. And the Empire still hunting them down. Just so. We must protect those we can. What's this place? Shortcut. Hello, Anchorite? Yes. You may not enter, Jedi. Please return to the archive. I came all the way up here, you're not gonna let me in? Lame. I'll return later. Careful, there's danger nearby. Hi. Oh, jeez. Right, what if I push them? They are nothing. Oh, they'll just eventually explode on their own. All right. I'll just let them be close and yeah. Seems, seems like a bad tactic. Suicide among your species? I don't know about that. spot that way oh my own map if I can decipher it okay so we're over here Let me look around over here a little bit Let's see, where did I 
I go before? I think I went. Did I go over there? Ready yourself for combat. I don't know if I did. Combat against what? Nothing here. Oh, I guess there is. Just like old times. Wait, what? Oh, one of those robots? Aha! Hello. Where do you think you're going? Let's take this to sister task. Jetta scroll. T. Did we go over there? I don't remember that. Oh, never mind. That had the thing we couldn't access. That's right. I don't need to bother with them. I did kind of want to see if there was something up there, though. Even though the, the maps are clearly bigger in this game, I don't feel like there's really that much more to do. I just think like the things are more spread out. At least that's the case so far. Now, Kobo was chock full of stuff, but this map, not so much. Alright, so... This time I'm gonna take over one of those big guys when I fight them. Anything else? We got a zipline thing over there. Can get back up. Well, I'll try that in a bit. We'll fight these guys. Join me. Wow, that doesn't help. Wait, is he not mine anymore? Protect me. There he goes. Help me, BD. Oh, I got aggressive. Say the word. I'm not the enemy. God, you're on my team. Dude, we're on the same side. Come on, please, buddy. Let's go. Seem confused. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. On your word. <laughs> broke him. He's broke. Hey, Kristen. Welcome to the stream. Glad my Hogwarts videos were helpful to you. Commander pants. I get a little towel. Just in case I need to wash dishes or something. Breathe. Arid flats. Alright, looks like there's no way to return. 
All right, that's a dead end as well. Can't go up there. I did want to check out that um, grapple point. Oh, and what's this over here? Have you come across the Narcus Anchorites, friend? I have. They gave me water and a warning. Beware the central isopters, for they trade only in death. A warning. Pilgrims give their perspective on the cults of Jedi. loop around. Oh, and I'm almost back to that spot. Really? Doesn't seem like it. Or maybe? Uh, Ready yourself for combat. Oh, hi. Together, Cal. Unproductive, human. There is no escape from my power. Copy uh. next. Jarring strength confirmed. Reflecting maintenance. That is all of them. This doesn't look like the same spot. The map seemed to imply it was. I don't know. Let's go up here. Ah, it's you. Enemies up ahead. This like single blade is so much more uh The Anchorites will want to see this. Accurate too. Oh. Wait. Oh, that just did that? Oh. Well, that did not go where I expected. Okay. Well, I still want to check out the grapple point. Unless I'm oh, I might be at it. Actually. I am at it. Okay, well that's useless. Spammels! I'm glad the ATSTs aren't just gunning them down. It gives me so much respect. Alright, anything else interesting out here? By itself. That's good. Let's go. I swear, he gets animation locked with that. Pilot. Oh, what the heck? What happened to him? Yeah, I'm re I'm regretting buying the uh, combo extension for the dual blade now, cause that spin gets you stuck in like the longest animation ever. You can't dodge out of it. That was a trap. Make sure the others are rested. But we must set out soon. As you say, Master Junda. For what purpose is our journey? The same as you have devoted your life to. To collect and preserve knowledge of the Jedi tradition. Seer's journey. Seer crosses the Jedi desert with a goal in mind. She believes that the Force will guide her.
clearly can't get up there. That just leads back this way. Where's that spot I was at before though? I'm not, this doesn't seem familiar. Hello! Actually, I wonder if I could just shoot it. Now well, let's not find out because they like to burrow. Hey, don't run towards them! Kit, over here! Oh, he can get away. Alright. Not you. Oh my god, you got the wrong target. Lay down covering fire. What? So he is flamethrowing me while he's getting force pulled in? What's that crap? You will regret that. You shall not escape us. That is all of them? All right, we gotta remember that robot the next time we come to the desert. What was that sound? Marion makes a lot of sounds like an enemy. Oh, what's this? Uh, what's the point of this? Must be a point. Maybe not. For funsies. Unless I can get over there. Or maybe I can. Oh, oh god. Oh, I got a little lucky. Eh, I'm gonna kill myself doing that. I'll find another way up. I think we're going to head out of here. I missed the scroll. I didn't miss the scroll, I can't get to it. I saw it. Actually, let's see if the map is revealing anything. Oh, what's that? Oh, and there's something over there. Okay, well. I'm gonna trust the map and find these. Wait, that too? All right, that one's a lie, because I can't go in there. Are these a lie? I don't think I can get up there. I do want to check that out, though. That seems like it wouldn't be a lie. Hey, Spam, help me out here. I think it likes us. That's cute. Time to go. I think it was here. Ha! Here we go! Enemies up ahead. Hello. I want the big boy. Big boy, you're gonna help me. If I can target you! Come on. There we go. We'll fight together. Help me, big boy. Bidding. Do my bidding again. Oh 
explode on. No, not on me. Ah, fired. Explode on him. I do always feel bad when no more standing. I play games where I can take something over and then once I'm done with it, I'm just like, alright, I kill you now. It's pretty dirty. I wonder if one must possess the force to enter these holy sites. These sands hold the wisdom of all those who walked them centuries ago. Remarkable. This was worth the journey, my friend. The Pilgrims of Jeddah. Pilgrims on Jeddah talk about rumors of Jeddah. Acquired. Well, the force is actually becoming somewhat useful. Oh, a scroll. Let's take this back to Seer's archive. Okay, so we got that one. What else did the map show? There was one. I don't trust this one, but we're gonna try it. I do not trust it. Oh, there's a force field one over there. We can't get through those yet. Let's move. It's up here. That's the place. Yes. All right. How do you expect me to get up there, game? I don't think you know what you're talking about. But maybe here. Actually, this might be new. Is it? Oh, it is new. Okay. I stand corrected, game. You were correct. Finders too? Huh. This place. My friend, I will not live to see all the wonders of this desert. But it comforts me to know that you might continue this path in my stead. For Jeddah is but a constellation in a whole galaxy. Let's see, data bank, Cordova's travels on Jeddah 4. You know, Cordova reflects on his journey and entrusts others to carry on his zeal for exploration. I don't think I can go in there. Nope. Alright, we good? I think we're good. We are good except for that, but that's a dirty lie. Oh. Wait a minute. What's that? All the way over there? Ah, oh, I went over there. I didn't even see that zip line. Alright, let's see if that's active. Or if I can make it active. Because that's where the rumor is. My spam is still down here. You take off. I guess I can just call one. Hey, spam. Where you at? There you are. Jeez, he comes running. Hang on, B. Master said to come. Don't look 
Look over here, you jerks. this. Alright. What do we got over here? Looks like, oh god, looks like a my dead end. Hey, what the heck? There we go. Yeah, my dead end anyway. The path of persistence. Yeah, it looks like we're out of luck. Wasn't that persistent. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe? Maybe there's hope? We could like force push it again from over there. Go quick. Nah. That must be blocked. Let's see. It doesn't say it's blocked. Might not know what it's talking about though. Oh, hold on. Maybe I can do like a super strong push. I can like hold it. Let's see. Whoa! Nope. Hmm. I'm thinking I can't do this yet. Might have something to do with that. There's also a bunch of wall runs over there that I can't access. Alright, we'll come back later. <laughs> I saw Scuba. Like, have I been here? Okay. Like I said before, I'm gonna go back to Kobo. I'm supposed to get up there. Let's do a quick fast travel into the base. Anything new going on in the ship? I don't think so. Guess since I'm here, let's look at the BD1. Let's check out our kit. Stuff real quick. Oh, blasters are now available to customize. When equipped, blaster stance only uses one blade, half the lightsaber. We know that. Well, let's see what we got for a blaster. Actually, I like that one better. Oh, kit it out. What's that for? Customize BD-1, the blaster, and Cal's lightsaber with new parts. Cool. I pick that. Yeah, I like that. And the handle. Nah, I like that. Ergonomic and effective. Alright, BD1, what we got for you? Like that. Head. I actually don't mind that. Let's go with that. Audio sensors. Can 
I like that. Let's go with that. Like the oh. new look? No, oh, not like that. And the body. Let me go with that one. And legs. No, definitely not that. No. Well, I don't know. Maybe that. Let's go with that. You're all Solar. set, BD. There's BD. All right, we got a new BD. All right, the Shattered Moon has been unlocked. I'm not quite ready to go there. I'm gonna go back to Kobo, which is at 47.2% explored. Research Tantalor on Kobo via the Stone Spires. Headed to Kobo, drinks are on me. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, forget that last bit. Maybe those anchorites aren't so bad after all. Didn't you call them weirdos? That was before Seer told me they're helping those poor refugees hide from the Empire. Is that right? Yeah, working with the group called the Hidden Path. Real hush-hush stuff, so keep it in the family. Understood. It was nice to see everyone again. Yeah, it really was. So, Cordova thinks we'll find out how to cross the abyss by tracking down Dagon's old haunts? That's right. You ever been there? Once. Used to be a settlement. Now it's just a bunch of crumbling stone spires and creepy ruins. Grab some seat, Cal. Can't remember, can you talk to anyone during the journey? I don't think you can. Where's Bode? I heard him talking. Bode a ghost? Bode, where the heck are you? You like go in the back? Alright, we got ghost Bode. He's not actually here. He's here in spirit. Weird. Master Cordova's research shows an abandoned settlement past the east side of the valley. Let's go check it out. I totally forgot to talk to my friends. I'm good, Cal. Oh, okay. There you are, Bode. Watch yourself around the stone spires, Cal. What'd you hear? Apparently the Raider base isn't too far from there. Thanks for the warning. Keep an eye out for the Empire. Alrighty. So, let's see, it wants me to go there? There. I'm trying to remember where that is. Oh, wait. Wait, there? Really? It's a weird spot. Through that gate makes sense, but that's just a drop off, I think. Weird. Okay, well, let me go to the uh, saloon first. Kree's like sprinted over here apparently. 
Know anything about the High Republic residences on Kobo? Oh, when I first got here, I did a little exploring of my own. I went into a place, and then I heard creepy voices, and I got out of there in a hurry. I'll let you know if I hear any voices, Grease. Wise guys. Not now, Cal. I'm pretty sure Monk reorganized my entire spice rack. But I don't know exactly what he changed. But I don't hate it. Huh. Could he actually know what he's doing? After being back on the Manus, this saloon is looking filthy by comparison. Maybe some cleaning will help. It's muscles. The Bedlam Raiders have been awfully quiet, striking up much less trouble than usual. That's a good news. And the bad news? Rumor has it they're lining up behind a new leader. Know anything about that? Dag and Gera. Rava serves them. Huh. Figures. Cubba just can't catch a break. Watch yourself out there. You do the same, Mosey. Hey. Got a sec? Looks like I've met your whole crew, Cal. The old crew, that is. <laughs> Seemed like there was some tension between you and Seer, huh? It's always a little strange seeing someone after being apart for years. Hmm. I don't have too many people like that in my life. But that probably says more about me than you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's just me and Kata. And that's about as much as I can handle these days. The more people in your life, the more you can lose. You know? When Kobo's moon was shattered, the Republic settlement collapsed, leaving those spires. That place isn't just an old ruin. It's a tomb. Don't forget about that shattered moon. Cordova seems to think it was important. Good call. Might just be Grease's stew talking, but this place is beginning to grow on me. Private table. All right, then. Whoa, easy, Grok. Sorry about my friend here. He's just a little guarded. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Name's Dana. You might say my partner and I have a talent for turning opportunity into profit. I'm Cal. This is BD. Noisy little thing. We're thinking of heading to Dredger Gorge. Ever been? Once or twice. I'd be careful out there. That's gang turf. Gang turf? Grok! I'm sure it ain't that bad. The hell I'm risking my neck on gang turf. <laughs> hey, it was great meeting you, Cal. Got some business to discuss with my old pal here. <sighs> Come on, BD. Grok. Grok is a tradesman and mechanic who partners with Dana to seek the treasures of Kobo. And there's Dana. A savvy grifter, Dana is always looking to strike it big on the frontier with her partner, Grok. See you when I see you. So how'd you two meet anyway? I all started with this Merc crew I joined. Grok had been recruited a few months earlier. On account of my good looks. That's right. Mm, and me on account of being the smoothest thing since Hut Lover. Anyways, things were good until our outfit tried to pull one over on the Empire. So we... we took off and started our own thing. The rest of the outfit ended up dead or in prison. What the car, Brock? I was telling it. Kid doesn't need our whole life's story. Uh -uh. Point is, Brock and I realize that we're better off just the two of us. We know the feeling. Got another entry there that was for Dana. No, Brock. No. Okay, now I'm confused. Come back later, yeah? Barkeep. Good to see you, Cal. <laughs> he never actually serves me. Why don't you go down the road? You know why, old man. My leg's no good. Well, see you later, Monk. I have walked straight since. Uh, you seem fine. What are you, a Ned Droid? Listen, I got it all worked out. I run the scans, you snatch the score. So you in or what? I'm uh, thinking. Great, great. You think you just go right ahead and think. Go back. Per 
perceptive. Also not as dumb as I first thought. Thanks. Go on now. I'm busy. You ever leave this booth? Thinking about it. Wouldn't hold your breath, though. So what'd you do before you came here? I used to perform in a medicine show. I was required to dress in garish outfits and read fortunes while others would scam the audience. That sounds a little demeaning. Yes, but the experiences we carry always have a use, Sojourner. When I arrived on Kobo, I noticed a charlatan trying to swindle someone with fool's priority. How'd you know? He wore long sleeves in the heat. Sleight of hand, huh? I saw a merchant on Karelia do that. An old trick. Well, I stopped the sale, and Doma has been grateful ever since. And the swindler? Tried the trick on the Raiders, so I hear, and sealed his fate. Sojourner, you smell of smoke and sand. I should take another shower, then. Talk to you later, Two Locked. What do I want to hear? Uh, what haven't we heard? We heard Zanar? How about this one? We've heard that. About Fields of Dusk. I'm thinking this one. I think that was right. So how'd you become a music producer? I was born on Riosa, in the Inner Rim. I've heard of it. Lots of heavy industry. Yeah, we couldn't escape the factories. So I used to make little tunes out of the noise from them in my head. You started early then. And never stopped. Keep on doing your thing. You know anything about the High Republic settlement off towards the swamps? Well, of course. The whole area was devastated when the moon fell on it. You're heading there, aren't you? Yeah. Need some information from the ruins. Uh, watch your step. Rockfall is a big problem. Unless increasing your friction coefficient is another one of your talents. <laughs> so that was a physics joke. Okay. Thanks for the warning. Oh! Local legend holds that those ruins are chock full of ghosts. Of course, I would not believe in that kind of thing. But you tell me if you saw one, yeah? You bet. I know what you are, or what it's worth. Do you now? Sure. The way you carry yourself. That saber on your belt. I won't say anything, of course. Why not? Bounty could be your ticket off-world. And I've already told you enough about my past business to land me in an Imperial intake yard. Guess I'll have to settle for honor among outlaws. Look, I know what it's like to have a losing streak tied around your throat. And I respect anyone who keeps fighting even when the chips are down. You're a hard man to read, Moran. Then, as they say, I'm still got it. See you around, Cal. I think, is this open? Oh, yeah, I guess it was. Scuva! Coward! Hey, Scuva. How's the water? Ah, fine. I just wanted to thank you for lending me your tank. Plenty more space for plenty more fishes, though. Let's keep them all spinning, eh? Holding up okay? Fine, thanks. It's not the first time this frontier has been terrorized by marauders, you know. But once more, the noble Jedi Knights rise to the occasion. I appreciate the thought, Z, but we should watch the whole noble knight stuff. Yes, uh, of course. Good luck tracking down those leads, and please do let me know if you find anything. Stay safe. Keep an eye out for more raiders. Oh, I will. 
May the force be with you, Cal. Alright, so I have... Tempting. Dang it, I still need one more data disc. Remarkable, isn't it? Alright, we've got four fish now. Somebody said there's uh, somebody here who cleans this, but I've not seen anybody that'll clean this for me. Maybe I don't have them yet. Cal, look at this saloon. Monk's been really busy. And I helped by staying out of the way. Did you know there's even a garden on the roof? Yeah, I've seen it. You know what I like about plants? When you talk to them, they can't just walk away. Wait, is Turgul gonna be my gardener? I wish I could be a fearless warrior like you. But I can't. So I'm glad you're around. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Hiya, Cal. You and Droid seem to get along, don't you? Sure do. Always had trouble connecting with people. Droids are logical. Easy to fix when broken. People are unpredictable. No kidding. But once you find the right person, it gets easier. Hope so. I love this song. Yeah, let's chat later. So groovy. Alright, do I have any new opponents? You've already proven yourself. Wonder if Kobo has other hollow tacticians hiding out and about. New units unlocked. Uh, nope. All right. Don't worry, friend. I'm certain there are more opponents just waiting out there. Hope so. All right. Uh, hey, look at this. This is encouraging. I bet we can plan even more. Did I actually do anything? Or is it just for looks? I guess it's just for looks. Let's sow some we new got seeds. Some seeds. What do we got? Uh, well, maybe we. Palm fruit shell, copa spike. Oh, I don't think I have a cactus ball, do I? Or is that a cactus ball? Is that a Felucian yellow or a cactus ball? They look very similar. It might be a cactus ball. No, let's make a cactus ball. I don't know. Put it here, I guess. And you go over here. No, I always hit the wrong button. Wait, a fire pineapple? I don't think I have one of these. What's this? Fire pineapple. Let's put it in the back. Oh, I can't. It's too big. Uh... All right, right here then. Perfect. Cool. Uh, let me check in with Doma. I gotta get a gardener. Hopefully, someone knows what they're doing. I certainly don't. Guaranteed. I have 20 prior right shards, so I don't know. We get a new shirt. You got a good eye. I'll get this shirt. Frontier shirt. This one. I held that one just for you. Oh, I got some new music. Let's try uh, Spice Man. I'll take it. For oh, easy money. Thanks. Trade 25 collected items. All right. So. Let's see, we need to go over there, surprisingly enough. See any new rumors or anything? 
I'm not seeing any. Alright, uh, we'll just use... I thought I had a meditation spot around here. I guess not. We'll just run it. It's fine. I know where I'm going. point. I don't know why. Like it, like even the damage, it, it seems a little less, but not like significantly. So that's actually really. Annoying. Chickens. We meet again, chickens. Oh, you smack him with the gun. I like that. That's cool. Alright, am I at the spot yet? I'm almost there. Should be getting pretty close. I don't see anything like a settlement, though. That's the way through. Let's do it. Bulk the chicken. That's what I do. Igneous fissure. Yeah, I. I'm so disappointed. I don't actually like the blaster as I suspected I wouldn't, but I wasn't expecting the blade attacks to be so effective. I kind of don't want to use the stance, but I feel obligated to. Hey, right, it's the bird! Yeah. Let's keep our distance this time. Oh, he's friends. Breathe. Igneous fissure. Off we go. Hunter. 
Emperor tracked us down. Wow, that was an instant. Ah. Oh. God, what the? God, what are you supposed to do with that? I can't save the freaking help area shots at all. Alright, we gotta be aggressive with them. Oh my god, that move is so good! Scuffer picked up your trail outside the outpost. Cal. Sounds like you've been watching us. Oh, we've all been watching, Cal. Not every newcomer introduces themselves by taking down one of Ravis's boys, which, by the way, nice touch. Love a big entrance. Thanks. So what do you want? Oh, what I want, Cal, is to reward you for every one of these that you take down. Not the only one who came to Kobo for a little peace and quiet. Take these off, bounty hunters, and I'll trade you something nice. So he was Haxian Brute. More bound to be on the way. Exactly. Lucky for you. I've got eyes and ears about. Drop by the saloon, and I'll help you get a jump on those hunters. All right. I'll think it over. Everybody's got rockets except me. She's the one in town. Yeah. Okay, that was really weird, because she's, like, totally dismissive of me every time I've tried to talk to her, and then suddenly, like, she's, like, buddy-buddy with me and, like, completely different attitude. Like, what the heck? Kaij bounties unlocked. Bounties cannot be tracked through the journey screen. Journey screen. Legendary bounties. Hunt down all standard targets and prove yourself worthy to take on the best of the best. Nice. Hey, this is a good find. Come on, buddy. We still gotta find Dagon's retreat. Hexian Brood Grenadier. Unlike other grenades, the Grenadier's cluster grenades are resistant to force abilities. Their jetpack allows them to resist some force powers, but not all. Hexian Brood Grenadiers, like others in Sork Tormo's employ, enjoy the versatility a jetpack provides. However, they eschew a vast armory in favor of a high-powered blaster rifle and a complement of cluster grenades. Combined, the Grenadier is capable of softening their target up with strafing bombing runs before delivering the killing blow with a jet-powered physical strike. Alright, and then I want to go to the data bank. We've got... Wait, is this new? About the stone spires? This is new. In the age of the High Republic, both scientists and Jedi work together in an attempt to crack the mysteries of the planet, its stellar anomaly, and its unique physical matter. While their work was system-wide, their primary habitation was a village, nestled on the far side of the Central Valley. However, in the aftermath of the calamity that devastated the planet, the site of the settlement was obliterated, collapsing into the molten lava that rose from below. It is now a collection of precarious outcroppings. The Kobo locals have come to refer these clinging ruins, uh, refer to these clinging ruins as the Stone Spires. 
And then there's Kaij, Vanda, and the Hexian Brood. Let's look at the Hexian Brood. The Hexian Brood is a crime syndicate led by the idiosyncratic Sork Tormo from his meteor base of Ordo Eris. Hexian Brood hunters prove their loyalty to the cause by cybernetically enhancing themselves, usually by removing one of their organic limbs to replace it with a cybernetic one. And Kaij Vanda. After seeing Cal dispatch with a Haxian Brood bounty hunter sent by Sork Tormo, Kai serves as Cal's handler as he takes on targets seeking the Jedi Knight. All right, so where are these journey things? Let's see, bounties. I guess there was only one and we killed it. Oh, that was Korej Lim. Korej Lim and his jetpack came to the attention of Sork Tomo when he inadvertently ignited the crime lord's Alderanian, or Alder, yeah, Alderanian rug. Sork took a shine to Lim's exuberant pyrotechnics, and after proving himself in the fighting pits of Ordo Eris, he became one of Sork's top henchmen. And is now dead. So you didn't feel like helping me out there? For free. I don't think so. Pretty smooth moves back there. Thanks. You might make a decent bounty hunter. Still here? What are you looking for? I'm not telling a bounty hunter. Retired bounty hunter, I said. But suit yourself. I wouldn't tell you either. Did I notice her from the billboard? I did the first time I, I uh, met her. Yeah. Feel the planet and everything connected. Then reach out. I think I... I, I there! I, I felt it! Just so. Very good, Parawan. An instruction. The Jedi saw opportunities in all things, even a harsh world like Kobo. To truly understand the ever-expanding Republic, the Jedi needed to absorb all they could and teach their Padawans the same. All right, I need one of those balls. Give me a ball. Where's my ball? Maybe it's out here. Mm -hmm. or maybe not. There's a, interesting, there's a, it's a crate up there. Seeing a ball. Sort of a glow over there, maybe that's it. It's not a glow. No. Up we go. My bear balls up here. Ooh, we got a nasty. I'm gonna take him over. Come on, target him! Oh my God! Why won't you target him? Right, you're Another friends with me. Threat. All right, finally a use for blasting stance. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Like that. Me and you, big boy. Let's go. What you got? And you can either animation cancel or just dodge out of that like real quick too. That's nice. Yeah. Oh my God. That's so much quicker. Why is this so much better? I don't understand. It's so silly. Oh, 
Oh, whoa. Yeah, dude, this stance is so much better. Why? It's so annoying. It's got more versatility and it's just better at swordplay. Like, why? I don't understand. Uh, anyways. I'm not ready for that. Still can't go through the barriers. All this piece of junk work. Maybe I'll just smash this stupid thing apart. Technological deficit. As the centuries passed since the Republic abandoned Kobo, so too did the knowledge of its specialized technology. To newcomers, such, ob such objects were unknowable. Alright. Well, still shockingly, this doesn't hurt me. Can I pull it? Ah, oh, no, I gotta be able to take out this jump. Well, actually, that takes out the jump. I think I could pull it somehow. Uh, that's probably where I get the orb for down below. Yeah, I would need a way to take this out. I don't think I have one. Alright, I guess I'm coming back later. Actually, let me check the map. Yep, max, map says blocked. Gotta be the place Cordova was talking about. Let's stop here. <laughs> Gotta carry a gun, gun to become a better swordsman. Apparently, apparently you have to busy your other hand and you become better. Makes sense of that one. Could be. All right, we need an orb. A coupler. Power source should be nearby. Uh. Oh. Can I aim it? Interesting. Okay. Well, we got a little dude to fly. Another dude to fly over there. He could just go back to where we were, though. Wall run, huh? Hmm. To what? To fall down, but then what? And die? <laughs> That's what it seems like. Well, hold on. There might be a ledge down there. It's so hard to tell. Let me just try to get a different angle. I could totally see the game trolling me with just the death. Does seem more versatile, but you still have a lot of unused skills in single blade. Not really. I mean, yes, but no. Is that seriously just to, d oh wait. Oh, there's a shiny on it. Oh, that is evil. Oh, that's straight evil. All right, let's go get the evil shiny. Yeah, I totally missed that when I was looking before. Got it. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. Oh, data disk. Nice. I can get that perk slot. Oh, speaking of perks, I need to check my perks because I keep forgetting. Ah, but if I go back, I can climb down again. All right, I'll check in a bit. Oh, hello. 
What are you doing here? Haha! I might have it's, it's just shockingly better. And it has cool well, finishers like out. that. Is that Centauri Cree? Oh. Alright, I can spin that. Anything else? No. Oh, I see. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe the other way? Oh. Oh, I can go through. Ah, I need to move the block. I see. Here you will learn to harness Kobo matter in order to prepare yourself to traverse the abyss. But in success, will you also find an ever greater connection to the Force? Alright, looks like I need to burn that away and then climb up. Okay. Oh, I know. Okay. Uh, wait. Nope, that's empty. I need an orb. Oh, there's a shiny back there. Huh. I wonder how I get that. It's also a force thing. I don't. Yeah, I can get that. Never mind. Ah, don't crush yourself, Cal. I understand, Master. Now, may I be excused? You have somewhere to be. Very well. But return later. Thank you. I will. Patient, Master. A Padawan asks to be excused from training. They do not explain themselves, but the master displays restraint and allows them to go. All right, so we gotta remember that shiny. Let's go. Oh my God, it's so much better. Like that was one of my big complaints that like Cal would get beat by these enemies. They would strike faster than him. But now he strikes faster. As he should, he's a freaking Let's get this Jedi. Data disc back to Z. Thermal vents. Covered in Kobo matter. Maybe there's a way to remove it. Thermal vent. In the wake of Kobo's catastrophe, thermal activity surged. The surface cracked and lava flowed freely. Pressure vented through naturally formed fissures, only to be held back by now untamed Kobo matter. Okay. Well, I assume the way to remove it is with this big glass. Looks like I can use the force on it, but no. I need an orb for that, and I don't have an orb. Seeds. Crimson jelly. These are sure to grow into something interesting. Alright, 
Maybe it's back in that Jedi area. Oh, I can take it from the laser. Duh. I should have thought of that. That was obvious. Let your connection with the Force guide you towards our shared goal. Tananor. Centauri Kree was training Jedi for the journey through the Abyss. Kobo Meditation Chambers. The Jedi purpose on Kobo was the pursuit and study of Tantalor. To this end, Santori Kree established several chambers across the planet, to be used by both knights and Padawan alike, to focus their minds and their bodies for the journey across the Kobo Abyss, and to give them a greater understanding of the system's unique material properties. Oh, that's just for transferring it. I see. No, not you. I wonder if I could shoot it inside the temple and get... No. I can't quite do it. I think we can ride that updraft across? Of course. Of course we can. See where I was supposed to go. <laughs> Maybe to the right? Uh, okay. Alright, over here, I'm gonna say. Okay, here we go. I guess it's so much better! Just tears them apart. What you find? Huh? What you find? Oh, there we go. Those who ask questions find answers. Chamber mural. A mural across the exterior wall of a meditation chamber reading. Those who ask questions find answers. Those who combat falsehoods find the truth. And those who see inside themselves will know the path ahead. Alright, that just sends me back. I'm curious about that vent. If it does anything. Plus there's a laser here. What I could use this for? Oh, for that one. Okay. Oh, there's two. Right, here. Let's fight together. The rocks out. Good job. Right, I'm gonna let you do that. Right by my side. Ah! Friends! You and me.
Come here, friends. Oh. We'll help you, D. Friends for a little bit longer. Oh, bonked him. In each world the Republic reaches out to you, there are new opportunities to share and learn. And this planet has much to teach us. What did you learn, Centauri? I don't want a hint. Get out of here. Alright, so clearly we've got a laser. There's a shiny up there. I don't think I can jump up there, no. There's gotta be a way to move that. I mean, I could take the orb. Do what with it? I don't know. So I push. All right, so I can take the orb and do things. What thing shall I do? Aha! What's this? Oh, well, that's not what I expected, but I think that's a spot for a laser. Let's find out. Wonder what secrets this place is hiding. Not what I expected. Oh boy, Kobo matter. It's overgrown. BD-1 can now spray Kobo Matter on surfaces. BD-1 Kobo Grinder unlocked. Spray a path of Kobo Matter onto Kobo Tuner Beams to burn away obstacles blocking Cal's path. Wait, what? I gotta see how this works. Like, Why would I... Like, maybe I can reflect it? We believe Kobo matter originates from deep within the abyss. This strange substance is enigmatic, but not beyond our ability to study and manipulate. Like all things, once understood, it can be channeled and thus controlled. Make a trail to it, but how does that work? Oh, because it chain reacts. Okay. That makes sense. I get it. Neat trick, buddy. I get it, I get it. Oh, and we got a shiny over there. I have to get creative for this one. Oh, uh, I gotta get across that somehow. Oh. Oh, there you go. Let's show this to Z. Data disk. Okay, well, turn this back on. Actually, I wonder if I should grab the other one. Boink. 
Okay. So we got that shiny over there. I could probably chain react all the way there. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Doesn't seem to want to grow on that. That complicates it. Maybe up here? Oh, I probably just couldn't spray far enough. Fair enough. That's odd. Oh, it doesn't last very long either. It goes away. Interesting. Oh. Maybe I can't quite do that yet. But we can do this. What is this? Force essence acquired. I heard Master Cree talking of their dreams for the abyss. It is unbecoming to gossip and to eavesdrop. Yes, Master. My apologies. Idle talk. Padawan brings some news they've overheard to their master, who dismisses it and chides them for engaging in idle gossip. Okay. I wonder how long it lasts. this. Quickly jump down. Oh. Wait, no, it lasts. Lasts for a while, actually. Okay, that should work. Right. Oh, wait, I think it went away. Working together, the Republic and the Jedi Order can understand the mysteries of the galaxy. And harness them for the greater good. The Force guides our path. Mm. Sounds like the order I remember. Everything Kree built here was destroyed by a catastrophe she couldn't foresee. Sometimes it feels like history just repeats itself. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, hello. I believe we've found our solution. Oh, no, nope, I just hold it. Dang it. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. That's not going to do the trick. That back down there. doesn't do on this. That's weird. Is it because of the angle? It just goes right through it. That seems broken. Uh, let's see how far this will go. That'll work. Ta -da! Nice find. Data Let's disk. Take this back to Z. Nice. Okay, we got that. I gotta remember that one in that Jedi Temple too, because I think we're potentially going back that way. At least I might go that way on my way out. I, well, temple is probably not the right word, but meditation chamber or whatever it is. Alright, I need you. Come with me. 
Actually, I never did look this way. Like, is there anything else I could do this way? I don't think so. Yeah, it's like weird glass thing. Use the big old beam. If anyone understands that reference, I'm very impressed. Another one cleared. We should be able to ride the updraft to the far side now. The big old beam. Do I know that one? All right, buddy. Let's go. Another chamber over there. Yeah, let's check it out. Oh, is he gonna have enough? Well, let's get a double boost here. There we go. Whoa, okay. Fight. Nah, you're all dead. I would watch. Sucker. What the heck? <laughs> that was an interesting stance. Hello. Okay. I think the problem is they like changed the combat in this game and they just like brought over the original saber like more or less wholesale and it just does not work. I begin to worry for this project. It is not our place to question. Well, even the Padawan sends something amiss. The seeds of concern. Though bound to Koba by purpose, the Jedi nevertheless begin to harbor misgivings about the ways in which their mission is proceeding. Check, we now need a shark. Oh, we're talking about. Not getting through. Not getting through. Or I am. Alright, that was pretty cool. I gotta watch that one on the replay. <laughs> I like that. Oh, you're out of here, Anubis. Have a good one, man. Thanks for stopping by. All right, so we got a block up there. What are we gonna do with this? We got a block. We got a spot for a laser beam. I'm expecting shinies in the Kobo matter at all times now. Welcome, Jedi. Enemies of peace threaten the galactic frontier and our Republic. Once we cross the Abyss, Tananor could be a bastion to repel that threat. A beacon for hope and justice across the Outer Rim. Tanalor was more than a mission to her. It was a dream of a better future. That door was open before, right? I guess this opens the door. Yes, it does. Okay, I was like, I know that door was where I went through. Uh, well, I'm going to assume we can just bring this through here. No, of course not. Alright, well, in that case... 
Hmm. Oh. Just looking for shinies in the walls anywhere. I can see him. Wait, I can't move this one? I guess not. Alright, so it goes through there. I'm at night, I'm doing well. Hey, don't be toying. Precision, new perk acquired. I keep forgetting to look at my perks. <laughs> Massive fail. Alright, I think I could probably get this too, maybe. Maybe, I don't know, because I don't think I can get close enough. Yeah, oh, and you can't go on those. Alright, so that's a no go. We're going to have to find another way to get through that. All right, well, I guess we're going up then. Oh wait, hold on, I just had an idea. What if we use this? Ah, no, no. Well, hold on, maybe if I brought it to the wall? Uh, I don't think this would work. I'll see how it would. Let's say. Oh, well, I can do it on the floor. Let's see. Right here. Ha! That worked. Uh, before I go up there, though, I want to check this out. What took you so long? I came as fast as I could. My master is insistent. Well, you don't have to worry about that. Not back here. A world away. The rigors of daily training exact a toll on Padawan who seek for themselves islands of peace and leisure, away from their master's watchful eyes. Hmm. I guess that's it. Kinda weird it was up here. Now, I wonder if I was to do that. Nah, I don't need to do anything crazy. I can get through. With the, the beam that's in that temple. We can reach the top now. Sweet. Uh, Here we go. Let's fly. Grand Courtyard. Looks fancy. Okay, I am actually going to look at my perks. What do we have? Block meter is increased. That's already slotted. Block meter damage. Throw damage. I don't care about that at all. This one is absorb one hit 
when charging the blaster without being interrupted. But I'd still take the damage, so I don't care. Holy crap, this one costs four? BD1 holds an extra stem for Cal. Stems will not refill to max until Cal rests. In precision. Parry timing goes down. Block meter damage goes up. Screw that. Parry timing is shorter, but Cal deals more stamina damage to enemies when he parries. Yeah, no thanks. Okay, I didn't want to use any of those anyway. I like the ones I have. That works out. All this history, none of it worthwhile. What is it that it expects me to find? Let's search inside. Sounds like there's gonna be a boss. Let me check over here one more time. I got distracted by the dialogue. I could have very well just been staring at this thing, shiny. And I was. Central Mance. The settlement structure served as a central point for the Jedi on Kobo. It spires deliberately calling back to the distinctive towers of the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Oh, actually, I might even have to go this way? No. Like bounty hunters get freaking lights in Oh my god. Oh, he got me. Rude. Oh, what? Through that? Oh, that's not good. Ow. What? He just ignored the fact that he had no... Ah, oh, fine. Whatever. Wait, wait. Why isn't my thing working? Go. There it goes. Sabers. I think they're not trained to use the force. Need to open this. Alright. We got another bounty done, I think. I don't know. We didn't. Is that tactical guy done? Well, now I'm confused. Basil Raider? Who is this dude? Oh, this guy? Bedlam Raider Lieutenant Double Blade. This lieutenant is a skilled duelist. Watch out for parries and counterattacks. The double bladed staff can easily deflect projectiles, so close quarters combat is ideal. Ravis saw fit to reward the finest and most loyal of Bedlam Raider warriors with their very own lightsabers. Totems, the Jedi had taken from Jedi Cory in ages past. This lieutenant, armed with the double bladed saber, also employs a wrist mounted grappling hook to both traverse the battlefield and attack opponents. Training courtyard. The manse was built around a large central courtyard, clearly intended for Jedi training. Ample room was provided for sparring, meditation, or simple yet productive discussion between peers. This place has seen better chickens. Dirty chickens. No getting through. 
devastated remains. Although some structures were spared total annihilation, nothing survived intact. Strewn debris and overgrown nature speak to a world first devastated, then abandoned. Strange device. Once broken. He is coming. Destroy it now. devices. Dagon killed other Jedi for it. Device acquired. Cal recovers a mysterious High Republic device. The Emergence. Emergences were the result of a catastrophic event in High Republic history. The consequence of which was chunks of debris emerging from hyperspace and colliding with nearby planets or objects at incredible speeds. One such emergence occurred over Kobo, devastating its moon and raining meteors down on the planet. Interesting. Anything else? Broken High Republic. Oh, Dagon's Descent. Devastated Remains. Dagon's Descent. Two Jedi destroy a device as Dagon Gera arrives. Too late to stop them. In a fit of rage and revenge, Dagon kills both Jedi in cold blood. Broken High Republic device. A broken device of High Republic design, although it is hard to discern in its heavily damaged state, the device may have been used in navigation, or as a smaller part of a larger unit. I don't know why this is still shimmering. Is there something else for me to do here? Maybe not. It's locked. Very good, buddy. Oh? I think Master T'Pol had this one. Theses of Yaddle? A tome by Jedi Master Yaddle, detailing little-known Jedi arts. Unfortunately, her notes on both are incomplete and perhaps deliberately vague. Cataclysm. When struck by calamity, the evacuation of Kobo began swiftly. Some, however, thought first to defend their work. Despite their efforts, such attempts were ultimately futile. That window leads back outside. Master Cordova said that Centauri Cree had a lab on Kobo's moon. Maybe we can learn more there. Oh, Scuba. What's he doing? Now how do I get to him? Oh, well, maybe that's how I get to him. What's this? Marksmanship, a new perk. Well, that might be one we actually want. Oh. Oh, okay. Apparently I The drop distance is so confusing. Like why I don't understand. Like sometimes he can fall that sort of distance and other times he definitely cannot. How would I get there? I guess I would just take one of the air bursts up. Although, if I do, I can't easily get back over here. 
Let's see, where is this gonna take me? Oh, there's something below me? Oh. Oh, I see, I can actually just go there. Alright, well maybe, let's do this first. to go there. I don't know. Presumably there's something in here that I would want. There's something way over there. I don't see any way to get to it. Let me try to get a different angle here. Okay, here we go. Got it. Full goatee and mustache, maybe? Yeah, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, you can do stubble or clean. Oh no, I like the stubble better. I guess we'll go this way. Oh, actually, this is a dead end, isn't it? Oh no, it keeps going. Yeah. I feel like they're going to have one of those hidden creatures. No, oh, why not? I was expecting it did not come to pass. Wailing Bluff. Burn it all! Uh, I know the chickens are up there, so we gotta be careful. Chickens? I know you're here, chickens. I saw you from above. Assuming that was the spot. Oh, wait. Actually, maybe it wasn't. I still assume chickens. Where are those dirty chickens? Probably shouldn't step in that, that'd be bad. No chickens? Okay, no chickens. Uh, wait. Oh. oh, I know where I am. Oh. All right then, I've been here before. I know where I am. I'm actually going to go back the other way, though. I want to get those things I missed. I do love the level design. The exploration in this game is, is really fantastic, i got to say. Still not a fan of the combat, but... This new saber stance definitely helps. Because you can actually, like, attack at a decent rate. So that's very helpful. I need to go find Mr. Skuvastev. How am I going to get enough height? Let's see. This. Actually, hold on. We never went over here. Check this out. This is where the chickens were too. Stay safe, you hear? Oh my god. Uh oh. What did I find? This is where the chickens were. Where are the chickens? I know I saw them. 
I was up there and I looked down and I saw chickens. Now they're not here. They're gonna come like barreling out of the bush. Ready. Where they at? I trust no one. Oh, I see. I trust no one. Crimson Jelly Spire Rare. I still need to go in there. Alright, well, let's see what this is. Gotta stay calm. I should be able to take him over, I think. Help me out. Chicken! Too slow, chicken! Oh jeez, I wanted to know that. I'm your ally. Should punishment. It's gone now. We did it. Okay. Oh, the chickens are here. The chickens are here. Come here. Ah, ah stupid chicken. Be no trust from you. Come to me, chicken. All right, this should get me high enough to get the scuba, I think. Or not? Okay. All right. There we go. Hello, scuba stev. Oh, hello. No! Oh, come on. That's why I didn't use the gun before. You have to melee them. Dang it. You have to melee them. Shannon, do you think they removed that intercept parry like in the first game and you could instant kill if you time it right? I'm not even gonna lie, I don't remember that. So, no comment, no idea. Watch where you look, laddie. The frightful reef fish has known to stun this corny with a blinding flash of light. I guess you have a plan though, right? Blinding rayfish. Uh, I don't know why it didn't take me to it, but here we go. Wait, did we look at Cataclysm? Yeah, we did. Okay. Blinding rayfish. The blinding rayfish has made a home in the precarious rock pools and watered gulches of Kobo. They are mostly spotted in the ruins of the old High Republic settlement. With their protruding jaw and skeletal appearance, they lie in wait for their prey, posing as a fish long dead, before stunning them with a sudden, blinding flash of light, then striking their bewildered victims with singular lethality. Aha! Got her safely away! Oh, but 
uh, the noble was nae so lucky. She paraded the reefish at a gala, and the guest of honor, a senator, ha, lost her eyesight peering in the tank. Blinded by greed, huh? Huh? Oh, 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 on. Aye, indeed. Yeah, all right, that's enough. <laughs> did you get? Funny you should ask. I didn't have long to set my eyes a bulge before he crashed headlong into her. The grapnel bounced off her like chum of flotsam. We plummeted down to the ocean, sundering the grapnel on the sea floor, where a gang of pirate quarren were holed up. The filthy Zephyrs. We swam out of the ribbon hull and found ourselves surrounded by quarren, demanded all manner things. Including our bounty of fish. So, away we swam, Captain White, the crew, and myself. But, blind as we were at such depth, we shortly ran into a dead end, finding ourselves surrounded by quarren. Find me again, and I'll continue the tale. <laughs> okay. Now what? Oh, seed. Um. I do need to go back to that meditation chamber. I should be able to get there from here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, now this is pod racing. Travel 500 meters of distance while riding creatures. Okay. So what I need, ooh, is actually kind of interesting. How am I gonna pull this off? I've gotta somehow, I think I've gotta build this beforehand. So let's build this. And then quickly spend this. Oh, and I gotta put the orb back in, oops. Think I can make that throw? Oh, the orb's not even there. I gotta bring it back in. Oops. this again. Spin this. That'll work. I bet Z can get the data off this disc. Take the disc. Oh wow, that actually stays. Right, that stayed there way longer than I anticipated. No. Cal. What that? There we go. I'm just gonna put this back now. I might need this later. Oh, 
Okay. And I suppose we'll go out the way it wanted me to. Backtracking would be kind of sick. Kind of weird. Um, but before I do, what is that? Open path? Huh. Alright, I don't think I missed anything. Oh, I missed something there? What the? Interesting. I can go back there, though. Alright, well, once I get out, I'll jump back to that point. But I didn't miss anything over here. So I was being a slacker at the start, apparently. I do like these little gliding things, but they're also a little jank. Do I like the blaster saber? Uh, n yes and no. I'm not a fan of the blaster aspect of it, but uh, for whatever reason, it's better than, oh wait, I have a shortcut. Uh, for whatever reason, it's better than the single blade on its own with just the sword play, which is very strange, but so be it. You hate the blaster stance? Hey, bye. For me, it's the best at the at the um, just using the, the the saber. Like by far, like the single blade, just awful. I still, I, I will give the dual wield another shot in the future, but I'm still, dual wield is my least favorite. For me, it's blaster, blaster, double blade, single blade, dual wield. It's more of a, yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. It feels more like a rapier. It like actually gets its attacks in like really well. Uh, all right, let me just jump to that one spot then. I don't know why I came out this way, now that I think about it. Actually, since I'm here though, is there like anything that I Easy missed up go. here? I know that there was those things. Oh, yeah. some creatures up here. Oh, it's one of those. I'm actually kind of curious how my blaster stance will do against that. see how it does. Oh, what? How did that doesn't even make sense. Up here. I wasn't even near him. Ah, jeez. I did still saw. Oh, okay, that one actually grabbed me. I'll give him that one. Toss it. Right. Dude, what in the? Oh, I hate this game's combat, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? How broken can you be? Ah, uh, every time it starts to bring me in a little bit, I get sucked right back out. Like, oh, never mind. <laughs> I remember this. All right. Let that go. Oh my god, I just don't like it. 
You love the combat in this game. I to each their own. I'm glad that you like it. I do not. I, <laughs> Not a fan. I would never begrudge somebody for liking something that I don't like, though. Buddy, buddy, help! See, like, that's just silly. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> oh my god. I don't, I don't like it at all. I gotta kill him now, though. I gotta defend my own. Come on, Neko. From what yeah. I've seen, you seem to be in the minority. That's fine with me. I don't, I don't need to, to follow the popular trend. I really don't care. Oh my god, I got my butt kicked there. Oh, that was just embarrassing. Maybe I shouldn't try to read and play at the same time. The dodge is the the dodge is horrendous. It's really, really bad. And then the bugs, obviously. But the dodge is just horrible. Do I like when BD doesn't give me the stem? Oh I love that. But that's because like if you do anything, it just interrupts it. I'd say the only thing I really do enjoy about the combat is the jump. For whatever reason, the jump is the most responsive thing he has. The jump is a far superior dodge than the freaking dodge itself. See, look how fast I jumped out of there. Good luck trying to get him to dodge like that. Hey, buddy. Yeah, removing the dodge roll was a terrible decision, and I totally forgot why I came here. I was just seeing if I like missed any seeds or anything like that. I was gonna go. Where was it? Here? I think it was here. Yeah. So there was. Oh, it's over here. Oh, how I missed that. Sometimes I forget how far he can jump. He's like, oh, that's a double jump. 
distance, and then I almost regret it. Like, holy crap, he jumped so far. I still can't let these poor guys out. Good find, BD. Good find. Can we actually help them, maybe? Caged Neko. When the Bedlam Raiders come to Kobo, they squeezed the local economy in the hopes of a quick credit. They thought first to use Neko as pack animals, but found them inefficient next to the retrofitted technology of their new Lucra Hulk. It was not in their nature, however, to free their now redundant beasts. Turkle actually killed someone? Dark Waters. Turkle and a raider get into an accidental altercation, the result of which is a stain on Turkle's conscience that cannot be easily erased. There's nothing on this planet that I'm not ready for. Nothing! The Jedi will be beyond your abilities. You've no idea what Check I can do. Check it out, BD. You'll Prior right. Be. Oh, here. Watch out. I know I am. Detonator out. You don't care. Alright, well, I may as well run into town from here. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything else. Looks good, and I was not where I thought I was. What do you want? Chickens, I'll go around. I don't need barbecue. Alright, so I guess we're heading... Oh, what's this? Bounties available. Ask Kaij for tips on where to find her current bounties. Bring bounty pucks from successful hunts back to Kaij for unique rewards. I guess we can stop by the saloon and talk to everybody. Wait, I wonder if we're still... Wait, what was that? I saw something pop up. Oh, wait, open? Open what? Oh, I don't mind that. So much to do. So much to do. Hey! Uh, what's, what's this? Oh, never mind. Forced. Oh, forced to. Uh, oh, there's a rumor inside. That must be the bounty, maybe. I was gonna see if I could get into that one place, but apparently not. What's this? No. Okay. got some bad news on our favorite Ordo Eris fanatic. I already know Sork Tormos put a fresh bounty on my head. You do? One of your regulars clued me in on his game. She's been keeping tabs on the Haxian Brood, so this time we've got the jump on him. You figure that guy would let things go by now. Don't you got stuff to do? Hang on. What's up, Muscles? We seen you. All right. You seem different in here, Cal. 
How so? You're more relaxed, for sure. I guess. Breeze did a good job with this place. Feels like home. Breeze. <laughs> Not sure I'll ever meet another Latero like him. Uh, that was supposed to be a compliment. Don't worry about things here, Cal. Hey, Cal. Good to see you. What up, monk? Ever pick up any good tips from bartending? For starters, every client has a tell. What's my tell? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a tell. Fine. So what's your tell? My incurable honesty. Hey, sport. Can't chat now. Keeping an eye on those two treasure hunters who just showed up. Remember to relax every now and then, will you? Too much tension in the coils is bad for the joints, if you catch my drift. Seems like the Raider problem here is getting worse on the daily. They've got a new leader. No surprise they're getting bolder. Well, I guess that's why they call it hazard pay. Not much to be done, is there? Talk like that's gonna get us both killed. Oh, yeah? Well, let's get his take. What do you propose we do, Cal? Avoid the raiders. You should avoid the raiders. Scrapping is dangerous, but they're worse. The kid's right, Dana. No more jobs on gang turf. Too risky with them raiders. Ha! I ain't gonna be intimidated by a few goons with attitude. This is just what we scrappers do. We grab anything that looks valuable. And hope it isn't load-bearing. Yeah, I get it. But you're underestimating the raiders. Due respect, we've made it this far. And there's no way I'm quitting. We're... <laughs> right. No way we're quitting now. Talk later, buddy. Hey, we're thinking of plugging fresh energy cores into the dam at Dredger Gorge. See if we can get them working again. Not a bad idea. Where'd you learn to do that? Old friend of ours. Top-notch engineer. Had a winning smile, too. That he did. Good friend to have around. You'd think. The guy shorted us on our cut after a big take. So, Grok may have left an anonymous tip with the authorities. <laughs> yeah. Some friend. Is this how you treat all your friends? Don't you mind, Cal. Real friends like you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Is Monk gonna actually serve me for once? Hey Monk, you look tired. Take a load off. Oh, maybe? If you need a hand, we're an oasis in the sand. And if you die in a thirst, well, a drink they ain't the worst. And if you're running from a blaster, better run a little faster. Run to Pylon Saloon. And we hope we see you soon. He's still not gonna serve me? Oh my god. Well, at least he talks to me. good to see time. you. Kaij, new shop available. There he is. Got your first target lined up. Looks like some Hexian hack named Kip Buster has been slinking around Dredger Gorge. This guy likes to catch his prey off guard, so watch your back. Thanks for the tip. Thank me when you turn in his bounty puck. Speak to Kaj about bounty hunting. We got some dude at Dredger Gorge, whatever that is. Listen, now they were partners. Partners, huh? Business associates, best buds, call us whatever you will. Point is, our relationship is an investment. And we've got bigger fish to fry than these raider hacks. I'll get to those bounties. But if my friends are in trouble, they take priority. You're gonna get killed with that attitude, Cal. But on a certain level, I can respect it. What do we have here? Charge shot area. An upgrade to Cal's charge shot and blaster stance. Charge shots now hit nearby enemies around the target. Hold and release. Triangle to fire the equipped special shot type. Ricochet. Ooh, someone's interested. Fires a specially loaded round that will bounce off any surface it hits. Stun shot. That could be really good. Stun shot, huh? Hmm. BD2 slice. 
Control damage B2 droids? Eh. B1 droids. Probe droids. And then customization stuff. I, that stun shot might be really good. That's interesting. Whatever. A lot of prospectors around here. Have you ever tried your hand at mining, Prior Ray? Once. I found it enlightening. Some prospectors invited me to join them on an expedition. We descended to the mines, but when my back was turned, they fled. They ditched you? Yes. Alone, I calmly walked through the darkness, trusting my intuition. I found another exit. And the prospectors? Dead. Goraco attack. If I had chased them, I would have perished too. Let this be a lesson. Always go your own way. Now is not the time to speak. Alright, give me a new beat. Okay. What should we listen to? I wanna hear Ish Is Sirin Vasahina. Let's go for this track. So how'd you go from making sounds on Riosa to becoming a producer? Well, I put together a few rough tracks, handed them out to friends, and things spread word of mouth. Started playing enough gigs to do it full time. Eventually, someone with influence caught a listen as they were passing through. They'd worked with Max Rebo, so I figured they were legit. Max Rebo? That is legit. Exactly. Said they could give me some gigs in the core. When they said core, I heard like Chandrila. Nah, they meant Coruscant. So that's where I went. DD, throw me that sample again. This place is starting to fill up, Cal. Guess the word is out. It's looking pretty good. Uh, seeing this place start to get its legs feels like... like the start of something historic. What if, centuries from now, there's a city here? Even Eldera was just a lumber colony once. Doma better start investing in urban planning. True. Gurgle told me he named a road after his foot. We'll talk soon. So how did you end up on the wrong side of the law? After my studies, I worked in the Republic Tax Collection Agency investigating revenue disputes. You were a tax collector? Sounds pretty legitimate so far. Drearily legitimate. But it did introduce me to a steady procession of people desperate for things to shake out in their favor, so to speak. And you helped them out for a price. Yes. But my fee was nothing compared to the price they paid at the hands of a corrupt system. Whatever you say, Moran. Talk later, hmm? Scooby's not here. You asked how life was different in my day. For one, I believe we were more charitable to one another. Yeah, the Empire has everyone so afraid they just look out for themselves. What was it like back then? Ah, uh, once I was running an errand for Master Cree, very time-sensitive business. I moved with such haste, I blew off my motivator. Oh. I was perfectly aware and completely mobile. Most embarrassing. How'd you get moving again? By chance, a friendly bystander diagnosed my predicament and graciously installed a replacement. That's generous. Out here, they'd probably scrap you for parts. How'd you repay them? I didn't. I never saw him again, but weeks later, I was able to help someone else. A chain of kindness kept the Republic going. For a while. And time to talk. Cal, I've got a question for an accomplished warrior like yourself. 
Say your enemies are closing in fast, with blasters drawn and murder in their eyes. Uh, okay. What do you do? Focus. I focus on the moment and trust my training. Overthinking what will happen can make you freeze up. Yeah, that makes sense. But the most important thing is to know what you're fighting for. My life? Well, that's a start. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. Hey, Zig. What's going on? Enjoying the view. Not often we get this much of a crowd of pilots. Hey there. All right, uh, let's go beat up this bounty, dude. Let's see. Garden's looking kind of respectable. Where is he? Oh, hey. Dredger Gorge. Oh, right there? That must be it. Derelict Dam is where we're going. Uh, I'll need a meditation spot, I suppose. Can I use the one on the ship? Actually, there's one right outside town. Let's use that one. I freaking love Turgle when he's voiced by the dude who did Invader Zim and Roz from Psychonauts. Turgle just, I, all I see is a battle toad. <laughs> Every time I see him, he's a battle toad. And battle toads were spacefaring creatures, so it makes sense. It works. Let's stop. All right, fast travel. We're going here. Yeah. Well, it shows the rumors for some reason. He's a derpy battle toad. <laughs> to oh, this place. Oh, interesting. Wait, he's over there? It's a weird spot. That's where the uh, Goroko is. Weird. Let's say hello. Is it all alive? It's able to block so much faster. Like, that would have 100% got me hit in the other stance. No, I delayed that. Though. Right, was this not the place? What is that? That looks interesting, doesn't it? Oh, oh, he's in the tunnel. Okay, I killed the Groko for that reason. Shannon's, I noticed your average on this game is pushing six hours. Is this game just that good, or are you shifting over to longer streams in general? Uh, my average is definitely not six hours. I just had one particular long stream, and and no, I'm like. I, I really like the the story and the exploration in this game, but I'm not a fan of the combat. It's getting a little bit better, but I still can't overlook the bugs and just general jank. this dude there you are. yeah you want to go oh crap <laughs> I got myself cornered ah. Ah. 
Oh, he got. Wow. Oh, get wrecked, Kip O Star. Get freaking wrecked. Another bounty puck. We should show this to Cage. Hexian Brood Shock Commando. Unlike other commandos, you must break their block in order to deal damage. Watch out for the Shock Commando's counterattacks, especially their electric shock wave. Shock Commandos use their upgraded deployable shields capable of deflecting blaster fire, not only to defend themselves, but to aggressively charge forward and batter their targets. The shield is also capable of delivering an overcharged burst of energy, which brings all but the strongest foes to their knees. That lunge forward on the double-bladed saber, so I know. It's my favorite move, both in terms of uh, just being fun to use and being effective. It's a really cool move. They really did make the double-bladed lightsaber. Like, I, I, I don't understand. They like... They made the double-bladed lightsaber like way better and more enjoyable to use, and then they just like abandoned the the original like single blade. It's horrible. Oh, pilot! Oh, that's right. Pilot Saloon does have one on the bottom. I forgot about that. Turned you into Darth Maul a little bit, yeah. Yeah, no, it's really fun to use. Once I got that ability, I started really liking the double blade. It's become my second favorite stance. Well, it's my favorite stance to use, like, visually. Uh, but for effectiveness, it's my second favorite. It's really good against certain enemies and others, it's pointless. And it still leaves you, like... It has a bunch of completely useless moves that I don't like. So... Come on in, grab a spot at the bar. It's got some problems. Can't beat what I've got. Alright, I do want to try this stun shot. Fires a blaster bolt that stuns one target and others in close proximity. That could be really good. Done. Baba currently equips special shot at any meditation point. I don't think I have any special shot. Word has it that a brood gunslinger named Mayan Core has been wandering around the east side of the valley. She shoots from the hip, but her aim ain't half bad. So close into the kill as soon as you spot her. Looks like we got another one. Mayan Core. All right, and if I look at this, I can get some more information on that person I took out. Oh, no. No, hey! I got off. There we go. Kipo Star. Imperial records now suspected to be doctored hold that Kipo Star's body count exceeds that of the Imperial campaign on Subterral. Doctored or not, what is not in dispute are Kipo Star's vicious tendencies and the violent streak they've carved across the galaxy. Oh, you're out of here, Chris. Have a good one, man. Have a good one. I actually didn't even look at the map, but I think my bounties actually show. Yeah, over here. Ah, very close to the meditation spot. In the boiling bluff. Oh, thank you for the reminder on my special shot. Let's see. 
Let's see. B -b 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 Would it be stances? Blaster. Oh, it has char. Oh, right, right, right. Because I do the charge shot now. So how do I change that? Change shot. There we go. Charge up your blaster form a powerful shot. That's useless. But stun. Stun. Oh my god. Yes, give me that. Perfect. All right, I'm in. All right, it's this way. This way. Hello. Oh, got me. Oh, jeez. I'm hit. This place sucks. Oh no! Oh, she sucks. Oh, she got me. She got me. That was a rude one. Alright, round two. So, charge shots. Keeps her distance well. If you get in close, she has grenades. She's a bit nasty. Apparently. Up here. Oh god. Oh, there we go. Oh, what the heck did she hit me with? Oh god. Give me a stim. God, this sucks. Up here. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of stims? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm alive. Nope, I'm dead. My god, she's nasty. For some reason, she's able to dodge my lunge forward, but a regular strike can get her, but then she freaking hits me with, like, the hallucination grenade or whatever that was. Alright, third time's the charm. Ah.
Ow. Ow, jeez. Here's the stem. Oh my god. Uh, I can't remember who mentioned it earlier, but the stem usage is also just horrendous. I understand why it's getting interrupted, but it's really dumb. Like even I, I got I even got the perk that makes her makes him use it like way faster and it's still awful. Alright, she seems to have an opening when she throws her grenades like that. Yeah, like right here. Yeah. Ow. God. Once again, I hate the dodge in this game. It leaves you immobile for an absurdly long time. Oh god, fight does too. Hey buddy. I like that fight. I just don't like Cal's functionality, <laughs> but I like what she was doing. That was cool. Haxian Brood gl Gunslinger. Gunslingers are highly evasive, but they are particularly susceptible to force abilities. Huh. During certain windows. What do that means? Countering their aggression with relentless melee attacks can work, but beware their pistol whip combo. The Haxian Brood sees relentless aggression as much as canny subterfuge as crucial to victory. None typify this more than the Brood Gunslinger. Unencumbered by heavy armor or jetpacks, they launch into action, unleashing a flurry of high-powered blaster bolts and stun grenades, designed to bring down even the toughest of marks with the steady grind of attrition. And the crowd goes wild. I know exactly where I am. Alrighty. Let's go back to the saloon. Which is... Oh, yeah, what's this? Oh, my God, this map. I think that's it. There it is. You can use the force when she dodges? Oh, you know, I did see her kind of like glow blue. I want to like push her or grab her or something interesting. Well, I'm sure we'll be fighting more of them. I'll have to try that out. Navigation. Yeah. Oh. There's Mr. 
popular. A bounty hunting droid named Rez is stomping around the forest array. Don't bother squaring up. Stay light on your feet, you'll dance around that rust bucket. Oh, we got another one. Raz. We'll beat him up. Okay, this time we're going out here. Oh, and I wasn't there shiny like right there. Yeah, right there. Hmm, what can I do? What can I do? I guess I could get this over here. Oh god! Oh jeez. Bad chicken. Uh, yeah, I'll have to get over there and move that again. But when I do, I think it hits the stairs, and I can just drag it right to that and get the shiny. But let's find Raz. Raz is this way? Interesting. Can I go this way? Let's see what happens with this. No. I guess I have to go around. I don't remember. Oh, actually, maybe I go through here. Oh, and there was a shiny there. I forgot about that. Hmm. I think if I was to jump down, it would not end well. I'll have to find another way. Presumably, maybe I could pull it off. Alright, I forgot to look at the entry for that bounty. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh my god, come on. Uh, no, oh my god, why is this so hard to do? There we go. Mayancor. Mayancor has built a solid, if relatively unremarkable, reputation as a bounty hunter who gets the job done without any extraneous flair. The unassuming approach has worked for her. As in over 10 years of hunting, not once has a bounty been issued on her in retaliation for her blood-soaked deeds. Hey DJ, welcome to the stream. Uh, is it here? Okay, it's right around here apparently. Maybe down here? Oh, from the other side. Huh. I think I hear it in there. Well, I found it. I don't know if I can get to it. Let's see. Oh, right. I had a shortcut. Oops. Where do I go? Oh, right. I go over here. It's been a while since I did this, I forgot. Oh, uh, actually, will this work? Can I jump up? Oh, I can't. No, I can't. Huh. Over there. Uh, 
What's that say? One one way door. I might not be able to do this yet. Well, I came here. Fight with me. Eyes below. Head down. Taking a shot. You won't get me. Stunt. Ah, it doesn't last very long, does it? Oh, get wrecked. Jeez, I ain't seen him do that before. Oh my god. Are you serious? Up here. Alright, that was terrible. So we can bring the orb in. Yeah, okay. This will work. Can I climb the leaves? Uh, I'm not sure which leaves you're talking about. I don't think so. Though. Hard to know where the safe spot is. I think it's right here. There we go. All right. Jeez. Put that here. Uh, and there's a way to turn it. It's here. There we go. Definitely work. You it up. Now, where is it? Oh, it's lid. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. Okay, so what else could we do with our laser beam? Uh, this might lead us where we needed to go. Maybe. I think so. But what else? Anything over there? 
So let me make sure I got everything I can get. It doesn't go any further. And is there anything over there? Hard to tell. Oh, there was that chest that I already got. Okay. We're good then. Wait, is this really just lead back here? Huh. That's not what I wanted. Is there no way up? I've been over there before. How did I get there? So there's this. Oh, right. This has a wall run. Okay, maybe it's back here. Oh, yeah. Here's that door. Let me open this up. Where's our robot friend? Oh, here he is. Wow, this could suck. Let's find out. Oh, no. I remember these dudes. They're the worst. This could go badly. Time to die. Nice move, Jedi. You're oh. finished. Oh, you're in trouble. Oh, they made that not that was so broken in the first game. It actually works now. That's nice. Don't you run. Oh, I'm so glad. I had totally forgotten about these dudes. They were a broken disaster in the first game. You could not dodge that stupid charge reliably. It was horrible. Uh, but now it works, so that's good. It made some improvements. That's great, in fact. I'm very happy. Hi Shannon, love the video, so helpful and always bring a smile on my face. I was wondering, do you have any videos? Far Cry 6, Lost Between Worlds, kind of stuck on it? Yep, I've got that whole thing covered. I've got a full 100% of Far Cry 6. I actually really enjoyed that DLC. Too much for you. Oh, you're in trouble. Okay, huh. yeah, you can actually dodge that god off the move. I'll play through. Wait, Raz sounds familiar. Did we fight Raz in the first place? Dodge this! Pretty quiet, aren't you? Pretty good. Ah, I got greedy. Oh, come on! Got him! That's one less tail to worry about. Pucks. Yeah, we know about the bounty pox. I want to see the entry for him. Hexian Brood Bounty Droid. Burly and heavily built, its forceful attacks will affect even the toughest defenses. Evade charge attacks to expose opportunity for back attacks. One arm of the Hexian Brood's underworld activity is the trade of illegal droid parts. Some of these, or some of those parts, rather than being sold on, are funneled into the construction of droids with as much zeal for the brood as any organic. Heavy built and programmed to be overconfident, they will often taunt their enemies even as the blaster bolts fly. And then specifically for him, look at his bounty. If he will ever freaking select the middle thing. Why is this so difficult to do? There we go. Raz, RZ-12 Raz began their career as a bunker buster for a small insurgent cell on Rusan. But when the coffers ran empty, Raz betrayed and collected bounties on several of their companions. Sork Tormo used this as leverage to pull Raz into his employ. 
Alright, may as well fight these guys. I apparently need more practice. Their grab is just super jank. Yep. Wait, what the hell? Alright, well, I live. Back to the canteen. Bot looks like he's wearing a powdered wig. <laughs> I have to look at him again. I didn't. I didn't catch a powdered wig look. I gotta say. How'd you get involved with Sork Tormo and the Haxian Brood? Uh, the usual. I claimed the bounty on a brood hitman, and Sork sent more hide guns after me. I sent them back, you could say, in a way that got his full attention. Sork reached out with a job offer not long after. You've got to have a little streak of crazy to stay in this game. Yeah, that checks out. All right, looks like we did all the quick about it, eh? currently available bounties. You're practically drooling over this. I just don't care about the rest of the stuff. Ricochet shots, eh? I'll buy them, but I don't think use I'm gonna this. use them. Good luck with that. We'll see. Watch out for those hunters, Cal. All right, let me talk to everyone since I'm here. I know things are pretty tough right now, but think about the old days. Remember that scrape on Dathomir, Kashyyyk? That was a close call, and now it's even more dangerous. I wonder what it'll be like on the other side of all this, you know? Assuming we live through it. Always something to do, huh? Salutations. Tanalor. You know much about it? Only what I've seen in visions. Right, totally normal answer. How's it look in those visions? Beautiful. Like it's a paradise, a haven. Not just somewhere to hide, but somewhere to live. Well, I like the sound of that. I think we can do a lot of good there, too. 
Let's focus on getting ourselves there first. Everything else can come later. You're right. This is the first time for everything. Let's talk later. Hey, Cal. We've been wondering something. Yeah, we've been wondering. How's a guy like you end up in a place like this? Engine trouble. <laughs> Don't we know it. So come on, kid. What's next for you? I've got a chance to find someplace safe. I plan to make good on it. Well, I'm no good with advice, but uh, people who... Hell, I messed it up. I'm just trying to say, listen, the happiest folk live somewhere between what they want and what they got. You know? Yeah. I hear you. Really? Sounds to me like the old man's noodle is starting to fray. Damn it, Dana. I was being... Ah, oh, forget it. How you doing? What? What skills do you need to be a good bartender? All the usual. Multitasking. A good memory. The gift of the gab. Not to mention the mixology itself. You see, the better the drinks, the happier the clientele. Which means, of course, the more they talk. And the more they talk, the more I learn about what makes them tick. Sounds a little... Manipulative? I suppose. But I'm only picking up what they're freely putting down. Got a second, Monk? Good to see you, Cal. <laughs> nope. He's never gonna see monk. He doesn't like me. You know, we solder on some better converters, and we could double the price. That's over a thousand credits, all for one job. Eh. Eh? That's what you say to creds? You got some stash I don't know about? <laughs> Didn't think so. One thousand split two ways, right down the middle. You can't turn that down. Well... Well? You really think a thousand? Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it. I knew you'd grow some sense. At least a thousand. That's just the beginning, old man. Ha <laughs> ha! So you're a fortune teller? Not exactly. Though prospectors do ask me to read the planet's fortune from time to time. But they want you to tell them where to mine, right? Exactly. But my gift is not so precise as to provide specific locations. What I see, I share. It is up to them to interpret my visions as they see fit. So, John Art. There's more music to find out there, Cal. What's your academy like? Oh, amazing. Every building is partially suspended with repulsors. The campus looks like it's floating over the ground. It's magical. It sounds like a hard place to leave behind. It was, but things were changing. Looking down, you used to see nothing but nature. The ground is covered in ferrocrete now. All part of an imperial control zone. We'll talk soon. Do you ever miss the glory days, Cal? The cut and thrust, the rough and tumble. It sounds like every day. Not that it's glorious. Well, I certainly had some glorious years. I'm sure I never told you about the incident over at Munilinst. Never heard it. Don't think you did. I was personally escorting a shipment of, let's call it a sensitive luxury product. Unfortunately, we were costed by a customs longship. The fence had failed to update our transponder codes and our vessel was marked. Well, Bush comes to shove and we were boarded. I've got three customs officers waving blasters under my nose, so... What do I do? I throw on the waterworks. Oh, Cal, you cannot imagine. I'm swearing up and down about everything from past marriages to lower back pain. Almost worked, too. But one pesky officer decided to kick open a shipping container full of the slightly incriminating powder. Guess the jig was up. No, oh, Cal, Cal, Cal. You're looking at a professional. 
I told them that they were looking at the ashes of a thousand ritually cremated Sereno war heroes. And by the stars, they bought it. The inspectors actually bought it. That, Cal, is why I'm here instead of rotting in a Munilinst work camp. Talk later, hmm? Surprise, his antics worked. I'm suspicious. I think he's weaving a thread. Hey, Isaiah. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Glad you can make it live. Cal, you're back. How goes the search for Tanador? We've got a few leads. Excellent. Not now, Cal. Jeez. How'd you get mixed up with the Bedlam Raiders? Well, well, I had a drink from Muck. Then another, then another, then another, then... Right. I stumbled outside and sort of confused one of the big raiders with a do-back. Don't tell me you try to mount him. Okay. But if I don't, that's the end of the story. I can see why the raiders try to kill you. Oh, they've got plenty of reasons. <laughs> I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. Hey there. All right, I am ready to go to the moon. Ready for the moon. I've seen worse rooftop gardens. Sound like Froggy from Looney Tunes? Froggy? Let's talk in a bit, yeah? I don't know who Froggy is. Ready to go, bud? I am ready. Oh, Club is at 52% now. Not bad. Alright, the Shattered Moon. Let's go. Down for the moon of Kobo. Next up, Kobo's moon. That's my line. Know your role. You shoot things. Me, I'm the pilot. So, you give that old tech Cal found in Dagon's place a look? Yeah. Maybe that lab on the moon will shed some light. What do you think happened to it? The moon? Ah, who knows? Who cares? I don't got time for moons. I think it had something to do with the invasion on Tantalor. How comforting. I'm surprised the moon's still habitable. You and me evidently have different ideas of habitable. I know. I've seen your cantina. Watch it. Come here, Cal. Trip's almost over. Well, I finally found Boat. I didn't know he was squeezed into there. I thought this was the only spot with a chair. He's not, he wasn't a ghost. He was there the whole time. Rusty. You? A little restless, but we'll be fine. Oh, listen to you, Mr. Optimistic. Hmm. Hey, you want to do me a favor? Cut it out. You're giving me a stomach ache. Sure, it's not your cooking? <laughs> what was that? We're almost there. Locals say the moon's haunted. I love the music on the approach. So Star Wars. You okay? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just delighted you brought the manis to another haunted moon. It won't be long. Just gotta look for that laboratory Cordova found in the archive database. Sure. Take your time. Hurry to that lab, kid. I don't know what happened here, and I don't want to know. They couldn't have put this laboratory in a sunnier place? 
No kidding. But if we find something here that'll help us navigate the Kobo Abyss, so be it. The way Grease tells it, the Abyss is a ship graveyard. And now we're on a lunar graveyard. A lot of graveyards. A lot of graveyards. I'm on watch here. So far, I've spotted one nervous Latero. Anything hide behind the ship? They usually don't do that in this game, but you never know. Wait, what is that? Hello? The station is closed. They're here. Who's here? We've been attacked. Evacuation protocols in order. This station is closed. It is dangerous to remain here. So we got an elevator down, and I think that's it. Oh, hold on. Reminds me of the forest array, just on a much grander scale. Alright, elevator down it is. Cordova said there were records of Dagon visiting a lab on this moon. It says Cree written all over it. Mr. Shiny. To go back up. This cannot stand. Let's see. Where did I miss a shiny? Sure, not saying anything. It's lore. Saying behind doesn't help because when I read it is not aligned with when you said it. So just FYI. If you say behind, it means basically nothing to me. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Let's show this to Z. Get a disc. Automated forge. What do we have here? They really think there's something past the abyss. Centauri Cree does. I suppose that's enough for the council. The unconvinced. Two High Republic scientists are discussing the stellar anomaly and their work on the facility. Despite a disagreement on the exact goal of their work, both are aligned in continuing the research. Okay, so not that way. <laughs> not that way, indeed. Uh, maybe I can climb down this. Uh, no, that doesn't look safe. Maybe this. Here we go. Am I gonna check out the bouncing shot? Uh, yes, but not tonight stick with my stun shot for right now. I'm not going for much longer anyway. I only bought it to buy it. Buy it. I'm not particularly interested in it. Aha. Didn't expect to see this place operational after all this time. Stay alert. We need to find that lab.
me a shortcut, BD. Thanks, buddy. Pat meditate. I've got some skill points move. piling up. I'll spend those at the beginning of the next stream. Who's this? Hi. You another droid? That's confused. Sectors 5 through 9 in operable. Sectors 1 through 4 of original. Facility status activated. Array status deactivated. Alright, so there's this. Looks pretty active to me. Seems to go nowhere. Strange. Oh, wait. Uh, it does go over there. Alright, so that's a possibility. What we got over here? What's the reading? Not holding. We'll need to reinforce the chamber again. In the name of science. Two Republic scientists conduct tests with unacceptable results. The only path forward, one suggests, is to further reinforce their apparatus. Oh god! Got me good. Grabbing some Stay still! Nice try. Nice hit. Not too fast. They were waiting for us. That got me so good with that sound. Uh, I'm thinking that's a bad area. Is it? No? Okay, I just look evil. So what's back there? Alright, one thing at a time. I want to check this out. It seems like I have enough time to get through, but get through to where? Probably something over there. Let's find out. There we go. Harmony grip. That was weird. Waiting for me. Not gonna work. Enemy in sight. Wow, that does some Searching damage on those. A little shocking. Can't We're locked open. from the other side. Yeah, me 
too. Uh, I see him. <laughs> He's really bad at hiding. Hi. Oh, really? Target revealed. Move up, move in. Yeah, you're after you. I'm after you. So stuck. Do this. <laughs> that worked really well. Right here, buddy. Ah, oh, God. Get him already. Don't let him get away. Oh, not good. You try. Focus on the enemy. They really don't want us looking around, do they? All right, well, that could have went better. But not too bad. What'd you find, BD? Let's check it out. Droid recharging station. Skill point. An entire room was dedicated to the recharging of the facility's myriad maintenance droids. Since the Raider occupation, however, the battery station has been repurposed for battle droid use. Hey, BD-1. Unstoppable as ever, BD. Nice. Run over there. Where's the laboratory? The laboratory is off limits. The laboratory is inaccessible. You're okay. Find somewhere to hide. I don't have access. I tried to tell them. Please, leave me be. The Raiders really did a number on these droids. I don't have access to the laboratory. Please, leave me be. Okay. Luck. Let's show this to Z. Data disk. Unique metal. All right, open up that shortcut. Okay, well, I clearly can't make it through there. That would hurt. Anybody ready to jump me? Oh, reprogrammed mana gone? Okay. Oh, crap! I thought it was over. Threw me off guard. Oh, oh crap! Help, please! Jeez. Never All right. I have to fight a Magna Guard. Oh, Magna Guard. I said, like, Mana Guard or something. 
We've got the harmony emitter. Oh, I scan on him. Magna guard. Can counterattack even after being parried. Don't let your guard down. Can continue the fight even when beheaded, but even though they become more aggressive, they also become more predictable. Created by Holowan Mechanicals, the IG-100 Magna Guards were some of the most proficient battle droids in the Separatist army, primarily used to defend high-ranking Separatist leaders. Their electro staffs were capable of holding their own against Jedi lightsabers. Their surprising agility, combined with their ability to persist even with lost limbs, gave even the fiercest, je fiercest Jedi warriors a challenge. Uh, I don't know. He, he wasn't that bad. Now I can go through. Wait, what did that do? Maybe that gave me a wall run? Yeah, okay. I guess so. Alright, I'm trusting it. Recognize that spot though and look underneath. Interesting. I guess if I drop down like this. Woo! Nice. That was a skill point. I wonder if there was an easier way to get that. Eh, maybe not. Actually, I don't know. It's not on this side. Oh, look at that. Huh. No, I haven't been there. Interesting. Let me go back this way real quick. Oh, shortcut. Now, what is this? What'd you find, buddy? Monitoring station. A station teeming with droid activity must be run efficiently, or risk chaos. Monitoring stations can be found at intervals around the facility used to locate any droid units and redirect them accordingly. And we got this. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. And what is this? I can do this. What is this? This seems very easy. Very easy. Oh my god! Alright, I was not expecting this many. <laughs> Alright, this is pretty cool. I do like this. <laughs> oh, this is this is what I want. This is amazing. God, there are so many of them. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, why wasn't I using my, my jump? My jump is so good. Yeah, watch this. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I love it. Oh no, don't do that! Oh! Oh, they got me. <laughs> oh my god, there's 150 of them? That's crazy. That's nuts. Didn't work. That's nutty. All right. I can do this. That's super fun, though. I like that. Hey, Robert. Welcome to the stream. Oh my god, they get you from every angle, though. Oh no! Oh, this is not good. This is not good! No, I'm dead. <laughs> I got surrounded. This is what the double bladed saber was. I know, right? This is what I'm talking about. This is um, the echo is still bit. here. If there's something I'm forgetting, that would be good. For to stay calm. Get the enemy. We've got company. Actually, the spin move is not that good. Then. Oh, not good. This one's much better. <laughs> God, that's not good. Oh no. BD. Oh, BD, get me healed. BD! <laughs> oh no. Oh, it crashed me. It was too much explosions. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Except for the crashing. Too much explosion. Ah crap! I wonder how much for how far back it put me. Oh man! I hope I didn't lose too much progress. I think even the cl crashing was glorious. <laughs> what was it, like seven dudes that like collapsed on me and exploded? And I was getting stun locked. I had nowhere to go. I don't mind stun locks in those scenarios because it makes sense. <laughs> I'm getting freaking swarmed. Like th that doesn't bother me at all. Alright, please just have me at the spot. That'd be ideal. Oh my god. Really? The entrance? Hold on. Let me look at my map. Nah, it lost all that progress. Oh, that's so lame. This is... This is lame. Alright, well. Unfortunately, I guess that's our stopping point because I'm not going through all of that again just to maybe crash. <laughs> But it was fun, at least. Uh, I, I did like that quite a bit. 
That that's uh, that's more of the combat I, I'd prefer. Just like like that that's a Jedi situation to me. Like impossible odds. The Jedi somehow prevails, swinging around his lightsaber with absolutely in incredible, like precise reactions. Not that my reactions were precise, but you, you get what I'm saying. That felt like a Jedi situation to me. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that is going to do it for tonight. Tomorrow night, we'll be playing the Callisto Protocol. Hopefully uh, managing to, to beat their uh, special no-death mode. Uh, Wednesday, we'll be playing Ghostwire Tokyo. We should be finishing up that game most likely. Uh, Thursday, we'll be back here on Star Wars. Friday is Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered with Blueberry. Saturday is Star Wars. And Sunday is GTA Online. Thank you all for coming. Hope you had fun. And I will see you all next time.